welcome Aries Moon. Thank you so much for joining me. And let's get stuck into your mini reading. I'm sitting here in beautiful Balmoral Beach, Sydney, Australia. This is one of my favorite beaches, one of my favorite places to be. As you can see, we've got the ocean behind and these lovely rocks. So without further ado, I shall begin and I'll tell you what's going on in the stars for you in the month of May 2019. So guys, this time I've divided the reading into two components. We're going to look at the future and we're going to look at the past. Now future, what are we looking at? We're looking at Mars and Rahu sharing the sign of Gemini, 7th May to 22nd June. And that's happening in your third house. Now this is a terrific transit for you guys, right? Mars loves being in the third house, Rahu loves being in the third house. This is a really great transit. Great time to pick up confidence. Great time to even, you know, be your own PR agency. What a concept, right? Uh, you know, if you treated yourself as a corporation or an organization, how would you promote yourself to the world? What would you change about your image? Um, you know, and also it's kind of like a good time for expansion. Maybe you want to go for that promotion. Maybe you want to, maybe you want to switch jobs. Maybe you want to switch careers even. You know, this could be a really good time for that. It's also a great time to communicate your new visions for the future, right? So that's something that you want to think about as well. Oh, the sun is really slipping down there. Have you noticed the sun has just disappeared within the last couple of minutes? That's amazing. Now, that's the future that I want you to take a look at. But what about the past? Well, Jupiter is retrograding in Scorpio till 8th July. Okay, and when a retrograde happens, sometimes we're covering old ground. And I do feel that with this Jupiter retrograde, we're going to be covering the similar old ground that we experienced Jan, Feb, March of this year. So whatever was happening Jan, Feb, March of this year, you might see a repeat of that in the coming months. Okay, so this is happening in your eighth house, guys. And what I'm seeing here is that it's a real time to focus on your health. Um, another thing, be careful of arguments with family right this could be a time of reconnecting with old family members people that you haven't seen for a while uh, and the other thing that you've got going on so next door to that Jupiter retrograde you've got Saturn Ketu conjunct next door in Sagittarius so let's just check in with that and see how that's going I did a video about that where I said that's all about a new surge of awakening which I still totally believe in i am feeling that in my own life i'm dealing with a lot of past and i'm you know looking for all right what's the illumination here um now for you guys the illumination is going to be in your intellectual thinking so it's happening in the ninth house yes next door so that would be intellectual thinking how you perceive things also what your beliefs are you could be experiencing an illumination in that area of your life so Aries Moon, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?